Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you my 2023 wish list items. I will talk about each category. So without further ado, let's jump into the first category, shoes. For 2023, I don't have any plan to buy any designer shoes and I'm very proud of myself that I don't buy any shoes for 2022. Moving to the next category is a ready to wear. Well, last year, my wish list of the ready to wear is a Max Mara coat and I was very happy I got three coats uh, by the end of the last year. I did not film the video for what did I get it for Christmas. Wonderful item also ready to wear. That is uh, my winter down jacket from Monkly. I live in the very cold area so this uh, down jacket is really helping me to keep warm in the winter. For 2023 I don't really have anything from ready to wear. The next category is a small leather goods. For 2023 I don't have any plan to buy the small leather goods from Louis Vuitton or from Chanel. However, I do have a one item that I'm thinking to add into my wish list item. It is a mass car holder. I don't even remember the name of this car holder. I will insert a picture there. It's kind of pricey, so I'm kind of like hesitating. Should I get it or should I not get it? I, because I already have a mass KV car holder, so I was debating should I add it or should I not add it. I will see. This is the pending SLG in my wish list. I may not get it or I may get it so I'm not so sure so so far only one piece of the small leather goods from Hermes. The next category is a fine jewelry which I have a couple pieces that are in my wish list. The first piece is the Tiffany hardware earring in the small size. I've been wanting this uh, pair of the earrings since last year. I just like the collection from the hardware for the Tiffany and they are so pretty. I do have a very similar earring that from Anna Luisa. I've been wearing this earring non-stop. That's why I kind of like want to get this pair of the earring from Tiffany. So that's the first fun jewelry piece. The second piece that is from a mass because I want to get a quarter bag and you guys know I don't buy a lot of Hermes stuff, only I focus as a fine jewelry pieces because that's the only thing I probably love the most. So I will add one bracelet that is the CDC bracelet. The second piece that I'm eye on that is the, the necklace. I haven't really decided which one to buy but uh, I do want to add one more necklace from a mask since I just love their fun jewelry pieces a lot. Uh, I can tell you between the Hermes Cartier or Van Cleef, Hermes fun jewelry pieces, it has the worst resale value. In case you want to get a quarter bag and you just buy whenever you think you can get the quarter bag, I will ask you to think over. I don't buy anything else because if I buy something else just for the quarter bag, I think it's a waste of money. I'd rather to buy something that I love and I'm sure I'm not gonna sell, I'm gonna wear it, I'm gonna pass to my kid then I buy the fine jewelry. So, so I will buy one bracelet and one necklace. Uh, so now let's move into the bigger part which is the handbag. And for Chanel, I really want to add one more Chanel classic flap that is in the small size. This is the one that I'm missing in my collection but the color it has to be the dark brown or brown color it's a dark color i don't want it to have a beige color i used to want to have a beige color so much 
and I didn't do the video that I actually purchased from Fashion File a light beige of the small size however that bag has the color transfer on the back so end up I returned it to the Fashion File so that was the time I stopped to thinking about the light beige color instead I'm thinking about the brown color or dark beige color some something like a dark color so that's the one from Chanel for Louis Vuitton I want to tell you that I'm very crazy about the one bag and if you follow me you also know the story I purchased it twice I returned it twice and uh, I thought I will never think about this bag but for the past two years I've been thinking this bag all the time all the time and the last year I only purchased one handbag from Louis Vuitton I'm pretty much over with Louis Vuitton as I said I'm done with them I don't want to buy anything but this bag keep popping up on my mind and I just want to get over with that I just want to try one more time if I really like it then I'm gonna keep it and if it still doesn't work then I have to forget about this bag so that is the Louis Vuitton Pound Spring Mini I've been thinking this bag is so bad so bad so this year I probably will get over with this one I probably you will see my unboxing for this piece and uh, that's all about from the Louis Vuitton now moving to the Hermes that is the most big items that they are the first one is uh, Kelly 25 or 28 in the gold color was a gold hardware now this bag in my wish list since 2020 I kind of regret that I should have connected my SA a little bit earlier and uh, until last year August I just connect, reconnected with her and she was very nice offered me the Birkin 25 in the Sally in the uh, black with a gold hardware it's a such classic piece I'm very very happy for this piece so this year I really want to get the gold color with the gold hardware and either a retina or cellier. I already spoke to my SA, that's my wish list item for this year. And the other item is the Mini Lindy or Lindy 26 in the gold color with the gold hardware or, or silver hardware. I don't really mind so those are the two handbags from Hermes Hermes items are the biggest item in my wish list so these are for my 2023 wish list items please leave a comment below what is your wish list for this year I would like to know I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in the next video thanks